Welcome to Gusto News, guys. Thank you so, so, so much for always being there for us all the time. It's Gusto News, Shay for me here. And today we have something really, really exciting, interesting news for you all. Before then, please keep liking, subscribing, sharing, telling your friends. I mean, we appreciate every one of you that have done all of that and are still doing that for your comments, for your reactions and everything on Gusto TV. We say thank you so much. Today on the news, we have something for you about OBO himself, David O. This Kapai Chumare Mari Chupako, Zlatan Ibile. Yes, he has something for you. It's not about the matter, but it's another matter again to be solved. There's Tacha in the mix as well, the former Big Brother Niger contestant. Also, we have Token Makewa and Solid Star. Yes, Solid Star Isoko is in the news today. All of that, many more, will bring to you in a bit. Do not stay off. Stay safe, and I'll be back with you in a jiffy. So starting with OBO Davido, I mean we told you a while ago about the fact that Davido right now social media is a no-no for Davido. Yes, the fourth baby mama, alleged fourth baby mama, Larissa is still there. Davido has been through a whole lot in the past couple of weeks. He announced his album coming up very very soon. And of course, Davido, according to Uche Maduago. The Nollywood actor talked about the fact that, oh, Davido called him and said, oh, Choma is expecting a fourth baby. You know, Larissa is not the mother of his fourth child. And instead of that, you know, Choma is the one who is going to give birth to his fourth child. And also, Davido has now come out, you know, to actually reveal something to Uchema Drago. Now, Davido had like a sprained ankle, uh, a leg and everything. And people have been saying, oh, sorry, get well soon and all of that. Now. Which mother has come out to say, oh, Davido, um, he has like the wedding date, but right now Chema is not happy because of the fact that that leg might actually prevent them from the August 20th date. Now, we don't know how true this is, but according to Uche Madrago, Davido and Chema are set to wed, maybe get married on August 20th, 2020. We cannot wait. For that to see if it will, of course, August will come now. So, will it be true? Will it not be true? We don't know. Kemi Ululoyo has talked about the fact that, nah, that's not true. Choma has moved out. Uh, David has collected his ring back and everything. We don't know how true all of that is. Even for Uchema Drago, who said that the August 20th date is fixed for Choma and Davido's wedding. We don't know how true that is as well. We expect Davido, as always, to come out and say, guys, I'm getting married to the love of my life, Choma. On August 20th, 2020, guys, come through. is the Chivido wedding. 2020 will turn up and everything. Until then, we're not going to believe either Kemi, who is saying that Chioma is no more in Davido's life, or Uche Maduago, who is saying that, oh, August 20th is sure, for sure. Of course, we know that Davido is going to come out and tell us. And when he does that, we're surely going to let you have all the juicy details of Chivido Assurance 2020 coming soon. Of course, date's not out yet. But Uche Maduago says 20th. Well, guys, watch out for us to tell you exactly the real date. OAP and social media celebrity, yes, influencer, the owner of TM, you know, Luxury, Tokema Kiwa. Of course, we know that she's been single for a while now. She separated from uh, Maji Aida some years back. And of course, she's enjoying the baby girl life at the moment. Now, Tokema Kiwa has come out to say, guys, I know you've been disturbing me asking me when I'm going to get married again, why I'm single and everything. She has said, Omo, this single life is really, really good though. I mean, I really do not know when I'm going to go back to that whole married and, you know, trying to stay with someone and everything. Now, in her tweet, she talked about the fact that she likes the idea of a relationship, but she doesn't like the idea of being in one. Like, she doesn't like the idea of being in a relationship because she want to wake up, you know, on her bed, with no one, she wants to go out and have no one to report to. She wants to do a couple of things without having to report to anyone at all. That's what she said. She wants to be free and she doesn't even know when, you know, she's going to get married anytime soon, you know. Also, she now talked about the fact that, okay, now, the truth is, she doesn't think she can sacrifice all of those privileges right now to not be under marriage. So, guys, Tokimakiwa just, just might not get married if you're expecting to go back to walk down the aisle and everything maybe you should just forget about that and if you are there watching us and you think that you have a chance 
we took a makinwa for marriage. Ah, nah, forget it. Relationship, forget it. Because Toke Makinwa has at least come out to say that she loves a single life and maybe that's just how it's going to be till God tells her to get married. So, Kapai to marry Mari to Paco, Zlatan Ibile is, you know, very close to Naramali, the Malian's president. But then, Naramali is a close friend to Funke Akindele, the Nollywood actress. Now, we know that you know a while ago Funke Akindele was arrested alongside um, Naramali for flouting the social distancing rule, organizing a party and all of that. Now, many months after, Zlatani Bile has actually come to throw Funke Akindele under the bus. Why? Now, Zlatan going through a couple of you know uh, tweets and texts and everything on Instagram, you know, social media, trying to attack everyone, came in lawyer, attack like it was literally going on a roll. He now mentioned Funke Akindele. Now that this is actually like you know an expose on Funke Akindele. He came out to say, Oh, Funke Akindele actually told me to separate from Naramali because he's going to taint my brand. I shouldn't move around with Naramali. His, um, his, his brand is not pure and everything. That for me, you know, um, my own brand is pure and all of that. Now we don't know how true this is, but he now mocked her by saying that, oh, you said I should leave Naramali alone. Now you went and had a party with the same Naramali that you said I should leave alone and you got arrested for it with a cry emoji and everything. We don't know exactly what you know the issue is with you know between Zlatan Ibile and Funke Akindele, but they seem to be like some sort of you know internal tussle, and we hope that Naramali would be the one to resolve this issue between Zlatan and Funke Akindele, the Nollywood actor. Funke has not come out to you know react to the situation. Naramali also has not come out to react to the situation, but we expect that both of them at least will come to a reasonable conclusion on how they are going to resolve this issue because of course they are trying to put Naramali in the middle sweet in the middle in the middle at the moment Naramali friend to Funga Kinele friend to Zlatan Ibele as well I mean he has a human's job of trying to actually bring the both of them together and we hope that happens very very soon Natasha Akide yes Natasha Tacha the Big Brother Niger 2019 contestant actually has a word for one of the former housemates, Tuoyo. Now, ever since the reunion thing started some weeks back, there's been a lot of buzz, buzz, Kafi removed from the WhatsApp group, Ella talking about Sheyi doing something, Sheyi apologizing, Messi shouting at Omashola. It's been a whole lot for the contestants ever since they got back on set to shoot the uh, reunion show. And anyways, Tuoyo actually said something on you know social media about him. He doesn't want any negative energy. He's, you know, he's blocked Tacha and all of that. Now Tacha has come out to say, oh, you blocked me? Okay, because you think that I have a low IQ. That was all Tuoyo said that oh, she has low IQ. I'm blocking her negative energy stay far away from me. She now came out to actually drag Tuoyo. Say, oh, low IQ, I took you, put you in my house. Low IQ, I was able to do a couple of things, all those your um, uh, jazz. You know, kind of uh, interviews you did about me and all of that. You think I didn't know about it? Tata kept on going on and on, and later now said, for Toyo, she has the money to feed Toyo's family for a decade. Like I will feed you and your guys for a decade. Now that is a really, really big one, and of course the fight between Tata, Messi, K and a couple of these other guys forming different camps and all of that is not good enough and we just hope that this is all bants and funny jokes because it must not degenerate to something that you know would spiral out of control at the moment. Right now, Tacha and Toyo have not said anything further than what it is at the moment but when they say, we we'll surely let you know. Guys, Pepe Dem Reunion is a banger. You should go and watch that on Af Mag African Magic or you know, on DSTV whatever they do. I don't watch it, but of course, check DSTV for that and of course, lots of entertainment with Ebuka and the housemates. Finally, Solista Isoko is really, really upset at the moment. Now, we don't know who got Solista upset or anything, but remember that he left his label, so, uh, Achievers Entertainment, um, some two years ago and a lot of back and forth, bass goes here and there between him and his former boss, you know, OC Achievers. And just on social media some hours ago, Solista was at least seen bringing out the contract papers that he signed with Achievers and setting fire 
to those contract papers. Now, we know that you know they ended everything two years ago, but he didn't burn it at that time. Now, 2020, you're burning it. Social media stunt, publicity stunt, that's what people are saying. But of course, maybe Solista just doesn't want to see anything as regards Achievers anymore in his life. And maybe that was just the last piece, last piece of Achievers anything around him. And I decided to actually burn down the whole damn thing right now. Yes, so Solista, of course, new music coming up very soon from him. He's done a couple of stuff, but you know, not really popped ever since you know he left um, Achievers Entertainment. But we do hope that he's going to get back, you know, his bearing very, very soon. Thank you so much for being there for us on this news. Thank you so much for always liking and subscribing as we always say. We have a whole lot more to bring to you coming very very soon please do not stay up stay safe stay safe guys covid 19 is very very real we'll see you on the next one god bless you